students talking in class, making it work for you. We all want students to communicate with each other and with us in the classroom. Conestoga is committed to providing active and engaging learning opportunities that help prepare students for careers. Faculty work hard to provide opportunities during class time where students are collaborating over material while they circulate and coach. As Conestoga provides active learning opportunities, it is imperative that teachers and students develop expectations for community. Many faculty establish community expectations with their students at the start that help them to create a commitment to a respectful and productive learning community. This is important because many students cannot process information when there are distractions in the environment. This is true of all demographics, but especially for neurodiverse students, learners with hearing impairments, and students who are processing English as a second language. In fact, everyone needs to be able to focus on the message. It is the responsibility of the teacher to manage classroom behaviors. Setting Expectations Minimally, there must be four rules to ensure a respectful and functional classroom. First, no one talks while the teacher is addressing the class. Second, no one talks while another student is addressing the teacher. Third, while students are working on a task, their conversation should be related to the deliverable task. Fourth, if a student enters the classroom while the lesson is in progress, no talking should occur. Be sure to go over these expectations with your students at the start of the semester, revisit them as necessary, and follow through with redirection as needed throughout the semester. Let's look at some instances which may occur and interventions that a teacher can use. What to do when pockets of students are talking. A pocket of students near the back are carrying on a side conversation while the teacher is delivering important information. What should the teacher do? There are a variety of options depending on the context and the teacher's knowledge of potential dynamics. The least invasive intervention should be tried first. Here's a list of possible interventions. Pause significantly. Catch the student's eyes and continue if they fall silent. Move and briefly teach from the talking student's area of the room. Announce to all students that sharing should not occur until you've finished sharing information then wait until the class falls silent. If appropriate, engage the talking students in the lecture with an opinion question. This should not put the students on the spot or be punitive. If the students appear unlikely to settle, it may be a good time for them to work on small group or partner tasks so that they can have time to settle and refocus. Sometimes an instructor fails to use all resources, a verbal invitation for students to return to focus after a task can be supported by a slide. Pressing mute on the slide and standing quiet for a moment can cue the students that you are not willing to continue until there is silence. If numerous students are talking, it may be time for a short break. It's a good idea to reflect after class on the sequence and timing of your lesson plan. Is it possible there is too much teacher talk and not enough opportunity for digestion and collaboration? Leveraging diversity, using the first language in class. While it is an expectation at Conestoga that teaching and learning be conducted in English, it is also important to create an invitational classroom where we respect that students may benefit from the opportunity to translate a word or concept into their first language. There are many reasons why this may occur more than it is desirable at the beginning of the semester. They may be unfamiliar with the expectations of the educational environment. They may be becoming accustomed to Canadian English. They may be unfamiliar with a piece of information which is stopping them following the gist of your lecture. In order to proactively assist students with their adjustment to the field of study, the professor must be responsive to the evolving needs of their community of learners. A possible prompt if you find that students are speaking their first language is as follows. Let me give you a minute to check with each other about what I've been saying. Give students a specific guideline which enables them to use their language for learning and then return to the English medium. Tell the students that in a few minutes there will be an opportunity for students to work with the information and ask them to hold off until that time. 
asked students to prepare questions in English to bring back to the class. Refocus students on the benefits of English. For example, explain the benefits of engaging in the material in the medium English. For example, upcoming assessments and most job interviews will be conducted in English. Ensure there are visual supports to scaffold new material, especially in the first few weeks of class. For example, writing keywords on the board, providing handouts with terminology for note-taking, and using a pointing gesture toward keywords on your PowerPoint slides. Be sure that you're explaining any jargon or cultural expressions as you go. Review your PowerPoint slides to ensure that you are not overwhelming your students with content. Domestic students will benefit from all of these practices, ensuring that no student is left behind, and students are not tempted to talk to each other to fill in gaps in their understanding. How to encourage productive group work conversations. Lesson plans should facilitate opportunities for collaboration and digestion every 8 to 20 minutes. For example, insert a slide which says partner task so that you remember to pose a proactive question or a practice activity regularly throughout the lesson. During this time, you can quietly circulate and coach while students are taking the initiative to work with the material. Prepare a handout that students can work on quietly or together. In a well-designed lesson, the students are working harder than the professor for the majority of the class time. Taking a contentious comment offline. Learning can be both difficult and emotional for students. Sometimes an agitated or misguided student will say something unfortunate and or inappropriate during a class session. It is the professor's responsibility to extricate the student and the learning community from the resulting situation. Thank the student for sharing and calmly redirect the conversation. If possible, suggest that the comment seems important to the student and offer to speak with them about it after class. If the situation is particularly concerning, you can always call a break, tell the class to come back in 10 minutes, and go for a walk with the student. Managing Group Work Sometimes you want students to talk. A noisy, vibrant, energetic class is a beautiful thing but not if students can't hear each other. To make group work effective, limit the size to a maximum of four students per group. Move the groups as far away from each other as space will allow, rearranging chairs and furniture as required. Just remember to put them back at the end of class. Remind students to be respectful of each other's needs to hear. If you have the opposite problem and one or more of the groups is not talking, here's some things you can do. Make sure that the task or prompt is clear. For a timid group, circulate and make sure that the instructions are clear. Next, leave time and space to work out the process. Don't wait too long before checking back in. In some cases, you will need to do step one of a task with a group to get them started. It's okay for students to be quiet and do silent seat work. Consider doing a think, pair, share to give students a chance to reflect before engaging in group activities. Carefully planning your lesson to include opportunities for students to collaborate, share, and build community appropriately will turn the challenge of classroom talking into robust opportunities for learning.